Yo, Surfy, you want to get the lesson? Okay, we're going to give him a lesson. Okay, we'll, we'll start the check here with, with Black yeah, Tarash, right? Yeah, yeah. So we'll show listen. me the, the exact variation you want help with. D5. Here. Right. And C5. Okay. Right. So, From here. So the Tarash right. inherently is, is kind of a, you know, it's not the most solid opening because, you know, you, you are committing early in the center, right? You know, you're applying early pressure, but, you know, you are Black or down on development, so, you know, you can't, you have to be very, uh, time aware in the tarash because if you lose too much time then you know you're gonna you're gonna you know your center is gonna collapse so you know the most direct way for, for white to break in the center to take we take so okay, then bishop they, takes well, well, no then you lose the pawn right then you, okay then so i just you're gonna push. go for d4 right and and now if 95 not only four, it's going to be prone to a lot of tempo moves you know, you know right mm -hmm. black is going to attack this knight it used this knight as a, you know, a move to attack his tempo and develop faster. And that's going to go to A4. So now, the basic idea of the position is you're going to be playing a gambit down the pawn. But uh, the compensation you have for this pawn is this pawn on C5 is, uh, you know, is uh, limiting the 9 on A4, right? Mm -hmm. The 9 on A4 is also dominated by the D4 pawn, right? Preventing, right. you know, C3 retreat. So essentially, you're going to go for this uh, long-term compensation where you're gonna play off uh, the weak, the, the poorly placed on A4, and maybe try to recruit the pawn on C5. So we can start with normal development, C6. Right. Now there's three, now there's six. Now they're gonna go for this G3 development, most of the time. Bishop C6, castle, castle. Right. And again, I don't like the Tarash, so I don't know why. I, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're gonna play it, this is how you're gonna play it. And, and now, um, you can, uh, you know, start to, you know, you have to complete your development, right? right. So, you can go bishop f5, you can go bishop g4. But the main idea is you're going to go rook c8, rook d7, rook d8. And this knight is the big issue, right? Right. So you're going to go 94 at some point to three caps the pawn. So this is the general theoretical idea, right? Is that you're going to force the knight to a4, you can play against the long term. No need to memorize too much theory. Right. So this position... Most Make, of your opponents are, are yeah, going yeah, I'll be back. to All take right. this way. Because let's say I play some random move down to three. Then I will take it here. Then you take here, right? And right. If you take now, you know, it's just not the best, right? Some, sometimes B5 is an idea. You can even just take the pawn. So my question is, I come to a position a lot of times. Yeah. So after this comes in, uh -huh. I push this. The knight goes back, first day, the knight comes oh, no, here. Here's the thing, right? In this position, it's... Oh, okay, let's go here, here. Well, you're just going to be developed, right? Right. And you're fine. You're How gonna, do I get this knight out? You're going to be 96, 96, bishop b6. No, but then, when this comes yeah, in, go bishop this comes bishop in. Bishop seven. Then this comes in. But the knight, then, again, again, you have takes. to evaluate the strength of the knight, right? This knight is, is it, you know, is optically, optically pleasing. But the knight, you know, strength on d5 is when there's a pawn behind it, right? Yeah, after this, this, after this, well, this happens. Here's the thing, right? You have to understand. Okay, I'll show you what to do in this position. The general idea is, right, when the pawn is on d6, then on d5, cuts off the position, maintains space, maintains the positional line. With the pawn on d4, this is it's much easier to remove in the tower. So when bishop b6, 97, and you have a strong positional, you know, center, center hold, right? So you're not as worried, you know, in these types of positions. Okay? But, but could you tell me more about why you like the Tarash specifically? Um, I mean, it gives me a lot of open space and flexibility. That's that's fair. Uh, that's fair. And um, it allows me to, uh, you know, not to have uh, closed spaces coming around. But sure, sure. I, I'm having problem when this line appears. And this is where... Sure, show, show me the exact line. So, there's this, there's this. This, this, captures. We don't need to take immediately, that's the point. Huh? We don't need to take immediately. No, I do that because I don't know why I do this, so... Okay, no, we can take. The point is, this is why it's good, right? You take and you go here. Then I push, comes back, push. push. Yeah, we discussed this, right? Right, okay. but I, from here, the continuation no, no, of the no, game. No, 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 this is, this is, this is Right, so then this right comes here, in. Yeah, what are they going to play? Right, and then he pushes here immediately. Okay, okay, wait, let's, let's slow down, let's slow down. So obviously they have just 
been on the sun, right? But I don't, I mean, do I on the sun? That's the question. Okay, so I think that maybe things, the, the root of the problem is not even deep. I don't even, I don't think this is good. I think the root of the problem is you don't even think. In the nature of the tirage, you want to keep the tension. Okay. No, no, I think you're just gonna you're just gonna develop your night here. Okay. And if I take if I D4, I take 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 D4. Anyways, thanks a lot. No problem. <laughs>